17. Brilliant. That is a fantastic. Go to one. The miss. John Higgins, four. Six. Fifteen. It's a surprise. Oh, oh, this pot is so difficult. Not a shot you play very often. He needs this pink. We'll glance at the scores. It's pink to win a very dramatic opening frame. We've well, got some Young night ahead of us, I think, here. What a thrilling start. John Higgins will be very disappointed. He missed that green with a good chance to win the frame. 33 minutes it took. Just concerned about the cannon on the second red here. Can the cue ball on and off cushion without making contact with another red? That's the concern. He's actually not using the cushion. He's going to try and screw through that second red. Yeah, and you take your eye off the pot. A little bit fortunate, maybe, but cue ball is no bargain. Nine. Well played. Good recovery. So he was in on 45. Now he's having to stay focused in case Yan Bing Tao slips up. Thirty-three. So off straight pink. He might be. It well. He should be playing for it this time. Off straight pink and try and release that red that Dave's talking about. 41. Hmm, is he straight enough? No, he can't get it from there. 42. So, back to work. He'll already be thinking about that red. 48. Not sure that he's trying to convince himself. No, he's going to pick off the loose one first. 
I think that's a smart shot because if he goes red here and tries to dislodge the last of the reds and doesn't 54. get it, at the very worst, he's going to be in some control of the safety exchange that follows. I think that's why that was a smart play. Jan Bintal, 54. Mm, I don't think anyone could see that one. One. The only thing with the red being on the cushion, it, it's obviously more difficult to dislodge and it's a bit more difficult to play a good safety shot off it should he not dislodge it. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to be a difficult one whichever way he plays this. John Higgins, eight. Foul, and a miss. John Higgins, four. So, though, is if Yambin Tao can win another frame like this against John Higgins, that really does put him in good stead. John Higgins, six. If I can knock this in, Shot in the Green's got opportunities to release that yellow. I have to do a lot with the cue ball off this shot. Yeah, he's got something. Blue's good though. It's quite a big target. Not big target, but a nice target because if you get it full, you expect to push it towards that top left corner. Wouldn't be surprised if he caught the top bump of the middle pocket. Let's see. That bump there. John 
Aaron Higgins, six. It's the safe ball comes out. He's got the sneaker. Part of your job as a top snooker player or any standard snooker player is make your opponent's job difficult. This is one of the assets that Yan Bingtao has. He somehow or other is able to make it difficult, even for the very best. And that's why he's got John pondering and thinking so much. And the indecision brings a mistake. Not saying this is easy, far from it, this yellow. But green waiting. Been fortunate here. Double kiss. Covered the yellow. Does he have a go at this? Yeah, he had a go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. His line perfection. Just a word actually for referee tonight, Tatiana Williston, one of the very best in my opinion. Wife of Ben, tour player, great player, great guy. Her concentration has been first class tonight, something I always look for, the referee. Now then. If he's straight, the best he can do is a mid to long distance brown. Five. Here we go then, the biggest shot of the match. I think the smart way to play this, bearing in mind it's Jan that's playing it, is don't try and do too much with the cue ball. Settle for the long blue to far corner. Just kill the cue ball. Or is he going up and down? And he's topping this through. Oh, wow. Oh, what a shot. Perfect. Nine. He needs pink Four and black ten. now. And it's another steal. Twenty. This young man is seriously tough. Black for a 2 0 lead. Showing maturity beyond his young years once again. No, this looks no good. Eleven. Obviously, trying to catch the second red thin. Get the cue ball back up table. And the pressure. Oh has been building and building. It was only for a few shots. One. Saw the average shot times a moment ago, 31 and 35 seconds. Seven. Eight. You'd tell there, couldn't you, with John, a kind of pensive-looking John Higgins right now. Eleven. Plenty to think about. Twelve. 
18. Now there's a tale to tell. The minute he starts to play an extravagant shot, i.e. running side on that blue with pace and power, becomes a cropper. Not saying it was easy, but far from it. It's not a Yan Bingtow type of shot now. Will that give John some freedom? slumped shoulders very much tell the story yeah the slow walk is the clue isn't it he, he knew he coming to check but he knew he wasn't on the pink well if he takes on this blue he's not taking it on because he fancies it he'd be taking it on because he's going through a little bit of frustration right now under the circumstances this is Probably the wrong shot. Can he pull it off? Oh! <laughs> That'll work. Brave and... Well, brilliant. What a shot. Seven. Fifteen. So potentially a tale of two blues in this frame. Long way to go yet, but Higgins may just get him going. Twenty. 21. Oh, hit that beautifully. 27. Make him feel good. 28. 35. 36. Black to lead by 36, so another red and a black. Yeah, good call, Dave. John, obviously aware. 43. He's been missing it left of the red. Yeah, well 44. controlled. If this black goes in, Yamping Town needs a snooker. 's well, been that sort of night it's just not going to be straightforward is it so Yamping Tao gets his chance one snooker needed one yeah John John going through a little bit of Eight. heartache there thinking I don't need this in my life right now. Yan Bintao, eight. Very good. Good shot. Huge consequences if he misses the red. Great hit. Okay. Every chance of having to escape again. Can Yan keep the red away from a cushion? Pretty good. And how clever. He kept it away from a cushion and left it in a spot where red blue wins the frame with a snooker. Very, very clever indeed. Well, surely he's not playing at two cushions. Well, I'm flabbergasted at this because if he misses this, he's going to leave it. Playing two cushions. 
Oh, but what a hit. <laughs> Can he put the red away? That will solve all of his problems. <laughs> oh, oh. What an effort! What an effort and what a run around he's given John. You can learn this stuff to a degree. But a lot of it is just inbuilt in certain players. And Jan's definitely one of them. I say, that puts me in mind of Pan Kaj. John thinking, oh, come on, lay off. Give us a break for a minute. More stress. Well, it's another half hour frame. They all have been. One. So I left him to pop the red. Blue, it's still one snooker. Jan Bintau, six. Great shot. Brilliant thinking. <laughs> Top class execution. Yeah, that was the gamble. That was a gamble. I thought there he might have shown the patience that he already has and maybe just park the brown and wait for a better shot. Don't see any mistake this time from John Higgins. But Well, that's a serious Error, isn't it? Because that was frame over, finally. Is John thinking about maybe separating pink and black? No, I suppose it was too risky, but... Good shot. Oh. Now that makes a difference. Just a bit of breathing space for Higgins. Higgins. Two snookers oh. needed now. This one's not there, he's left it over the pocket, trying to force Jan to pull all his eggs in one basket. <laughs> and that's what he's going to have to attempt to do. Bye. Well, where's the white though? Where's the white? This could be the end of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, 51 28 and a half minutes since John Higgins got to the snooker's required stage. He was put through it, wasn't he? But he has finally won his first frame. A long night still ahead of us. Hello? Oh, very close to fluking it. The regime of fitness that John's been employing of late and looking good, feeling good, it's nights Six. like this where it might pay off. Seven. You know, you're going to have these situations where it's going to be a long night. It's part of the deal as a snooker player. 
the fitter you are of mind and body, all the better. John Higgins, 12. So just when things were looking up, one shot it all goes wrong again. Yeah, and he's completely freed the black as well. Not for the immediate future, but that'll keep and Jan probably find his way down there. One. What a chance. I'm not going to say Jan Bingtow's not a top player just yet. He, he, you know, he's pretty much there. Three. But these are the points in a match when oh. a top player presses on. You have to punish that sort of mistake that John's just made. This is the moment of the match where you've got to pounce, jump all over this one, and Nine. take yourself to the interval. Ten. Yeah, because sometimes 3-1 behind, it's no great drama, really. Still a long way to go to the winning line, but because of the way the match has gone tonight, 3-1 down really does seem like a mountain. 16. Great Ronnie O'Sullivan always talks about being able to play with rhythm and even personality. Again, try and win this at this visit with a little bit of swagger, a little bit of, bit of gallus stuff, as we call it in Glasgow. You know, try and send a message to John Wright. I've got you where I want you. Now I'm going to start pressing ahead and try and pull away. 31. 32. 39. 40. Oh, just retrieved the situation there. Three decent reds in the open that would secure it. 47. 48. Ah, that's smart to low straight in the 55. red and access to the last of the loose ones. Even better. 56. Push another into the open. So one good positional shot from blue to red and it's going to be 3-1. 51. It's pink and barring snookers he'll be two frames clear at the interval. between two hours, 17 minutes. Yeah, that'll put the seal on it, but I, yeah, going back to John, I do think he will change something. He'll try something after the interval. He was a completely different player when he faced Ronnie. Going to have to find something tonight. Yeah, because it's a real tough assignment in the shape of... Yang Bing Tao, who holds the advantage by two frames as they head off to the interval. Two hours, 19 minutes it's taken. It's a good half chance. This will be a good red to get in. Be nicely on the blue if he pots it. Yeah, that's better. One. The red just above the black near the black spot. That's in the way. He'd like to get that out of the way. He's really got to start taking advantage of these type of chances, scoring a little bit heavier. That's what he was doing against Ronnie O'Sullivan. I don't think he can hold for the black now, so he may have to go up through the gap. But at least this will clear the black spot. Seven. Thirteen. Fourteen. A little bit short of pace, trying to get on a red 19. just above the pink. 
John Higgins, 19. Very nicely played. Might play a delicate little cannon here. Oh, yeah, nicely played. Eight. Nine. Fifteen. He's got a very calm demeanour, hasn't he? Actually playing for blue there, but it's overrun it. Twenty-six. Yan Bintao, twenty-six. Tell. He hasn't made many of them with a safety tonight, but that's one. Left John a half chance here with this red into the bottom left corner pocket. Yeah, good pot. Nicely controlled. It wouldn't be a bad idea to go into those reds just below the pink spot. Yeah, good shot. Nicely played. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-eight. Yeah, overrun for the pink into the corner pocket. Well, that's better. This needs to go. This needs to go. And it's too short. And that's poor. It's end of break. So disappointed with that particular shot. Anything but there had to be harder, had to be above the pink. Get the yellow safe. Try and keep control Can of the frame. And it's not a bad shot. Foul. John Higgins, foul. No miss will be called because now Jan needs a snooker. John Higgins one and different. Yeah, the concedes just what the doctor ordered for before the interval and ailing John Higgins. Now it is 3-2, all to play for. Six. The wrong side of the blue. Three cushions back up for this yellow into the same pocket. Crowd. Absolutely loving every minute of this, as much as we are, Phil, here in the commentary box. The most absorbing match of the tournament. Not the highest quality, but it's edge of seat stuff with so much at stake.